Cue the heavy metal music. Yes. No one survives the culling, the culling of sadness. Hello, everybody, Grace Two Blazer. We're back with more brick rigs. In the land of brick rigs, you can buy anything with money. Anything. So over here, first off, the house has been rebuilt. Look at how wonderful it is. My slave subordinates have been working hard at reconstructing the once wonderful, bountiful, powerful, majestic architectural wonder that was our headquarters, and they're done. But I needed something powerful. I needed something in order to protect what's ours. And thus I went to Amazon, because that's where you can buy anything. And I bought ourselves a lightning bolt. Yes, you can purchase lightning. Real lightning. There was one ingredient. When I looked at the product description, it said lightning. Now this was made by MNB369. Uh, it doesn't really look like very much. It was delivered out back here. I guess we can just sit it. Oh my god, it says detonate. So, oh, there's one particle over here that you can detonate with the action button. Can we get the rest of these prepared for detonation on the action button? Okay, I think I have it all set up over here. Now, what's scary is it essentially just looks like a little pizza box, but there's like 700 bricks in this. So I don't know what sort of horrifying frame rate lag session is going to occur when we use it. I assume we just go over here. And with the power of Zeus himself, what will occur when... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it just fires off into the stratosphere. It's all the bricks. Oh, it's like an accordion. So it shoots off into the sky, and that's what creates the lightning bolt. What would... Ha okay. And now I need to know. What happens if you put this inside of a building? Gray Still Plays Headquarters is going to be the testing site of some awesome new technology. We're over here in the stacks of cash room with the many boxes pointing to the money. Uh, so this is right by the attic. We're about to find out what happens when lightning strikes this house. All right, here we go. I don't know if it'll be... <gasps> <laughs> right through the ceiling. Oh, it totally worked. It is like lightning strikes. That's awesome. Oh, I wonder what happens if you slow it down. I don't know if it'll have enough punch to bust through the ceiling like it does when it's in full speed. I mean, let's give it a shot. I actually don't even have a clear spot to use this, but we're... Go oh, no. Oh, no. Fire the lightning bolt inside. Yes! It worked better than I thought. Oh, it's a hundred times better than I thought. It's not just a lightning bolt. It's like, it's like Molnir or whatever just came down from the heavens and struck the building. The building was ripped in half by the power of the lightning bolt. I had no idea it would be this powerful. MNB, your lightning bolt is amazing. Like the slower you slow things down, the better the lightning bolt gets. Hold on, we gotta try, we gotta try some different buildings here. Okay, so Kylus Wireless has crafted the Sky Island with Windmill. It's effectively uh, like a Legend of Zelda-esque thing here, and it looks awesome. It's got a waterfall over here from the little pond. It's got a fan, look at the interior of this thing too. A little smiley face over there to let you know that, uh, see this place knows, it's self-aware. It pretty much understands that its purpose is to get blown up, and it will. Oh, what does it say? Hey guys, hope you like this build. If you do, remember to give it a thumbs up from Kylus Wireless himself. So remember guys, thumbs up for the Kylus Wireless creation over here. Got some lights on it. Now supposedly, is this like a little eatery area? I think this comes straight out of one of the, uh, one of the Legends of Zelda games. So it almost looks like a little eatery area over here. Let us go upstairs and see what sort of other wonderful things there is. You got some artwork, got some lamps, got a very lovely bed, actually a couple of beds over here. And then it continues, I really like the fact that the windmill works, like it legitimately spins. Now supposedly, there are in fact blades so that this can 
that so this can legitimately fly through the air. So let's see how well this creature takes off and hovers before it gets struck by lightning. All right, the prop is going. Now, is it steady? Wow. Unbelievable. Look at that. Totally steady. It's not even moving. Usually, uh, usually even helicopters aren't quite this steady. Okay, we got it set up. Now, let's hop out of this. Let's jump into our portable lightning bolt over here. Oh, this is perfect. Let's go ahead and move this under. <laughs> let's go ahead and move this under here. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do it full speed at first. Let's see what the lightning does at full speed. Here we go. Fire the lightning bolt. Okay. It did a little bit of damage. It wasn't it wasn't bad. You know, we put a hole in the bottom over here. I think we could definitely do better though. I feel like when we slow this down, that's when the laws of physics really start to get annoyed with us. This one's for you, science. Here we go. <laughs> there it is. That's a lightning bolt, boys. That right there is a lightning bolt. Wow. It just plowed straight through the engine, straight through the bottom, and set the entire building on fire. The building is sliced in half. Oh, man. You know, if, if we can make it slow enough, I actually think that we can get multiple lightning bolts all striking at exactly the same time. Almost. Okay. I've got four lightning bolts ready. Let's go ahead and lift this up. Actually, let's go ahead and repair it. Okay. All the lightning bolts are underneath. I genuinely don't know if I'm going to be fast enough here, but we're going to give this a shot anyway because I'm going to need to switch onto uh, all of the different seats and then go into the alternate mode and then blow everything up. So, here we go. Okay, that should be one. Alternate mode, two. And then alternate mode, three. Oh, God. Oh, it's begun. Oh, I only got two of them off. But it is bad. It is really, really bad. It only takes a second. And once that second happens, the lightning strikes in an instant, and it tears whatever is in its way completely apart. Look at what happened to the sky. Oh, no. <laughs> right into the Sarlacc pit. Ah! There it goes. It's still trying to fly, but uh, ain't nothing gets up after lightning hits, man. Okay. I know exactly what I want to do. This is going to be a tough challenge, though. I want to lightning strike a plane in midair. So, Bunna has crafted this. This is one of those instant- Hold on. Let me- let me hop out of this. Maybe if I stop moving, this thing will stop, like, spontaneously kind of swirling in a circle. It's almost like it's on a little pedestal. Like, it wants to be seen from all angles. It's- it's- I don't know. It's- it's got a mind of its own. But this is one of the- it's supposed to be the largest plane ever made. Um, I think in real life. So, it's known as the AN-225. Now, I haven't actually tried to get it off the ground or anything. Let's go ahead and throw it over here in the, uh, in the alternate mode. Oh, boy. It looks like it'll fly. Let's pick it up off the ground. A couple of wheels went, went kind of flipping off. Okay. Oh, Gray has, has messed up. Oh, we're fine. We're still, nope. Okay, we're not fine. We're hitting the ground at a, at a speed that's probably unhealthy for our bodies. Now we're okay again. Oh, it's nice and flat over here. Perfect. Works fantastically. Gets right off the ground, flying through the air, greatest of ease. Now the biggest question is, can we get this thing to, like, hover? Wow, I think we're moving pretty fast. Can we get this thing to, you know, like, glide through the air so that we can strike it with lightning? Now also, as we fly directly off the map, this thing has a cargo area where you can put, like, cars and all kinds of different things. So maybe we'll put something inside of it as we strike it with lightning as well. Okay. Here's the scenario. This plane's gonna be trying to land in a lightning storm, and just before it gets into the runway, we're gonna strike it down with lightning. I feel like we need, like, some atmospheric stuff going on here. And with the power of magic, Gray calls in a tremendous thunderstorm. 
with which to slay the giant sentient beast that enjoys twirling on its own. It's like a ballerina. It's the ballerina of planes. All right, the plane's coming in for, oh, this is gonna be tough. Plane's coming in for a landing. <laughs> I don't even think I'm gonna be close. But I'm gonna try it. Hold on. Let me. Oh, I think it's landed technically. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. Um, can I use it here? Can I use it here? Nope, I got blasted off my seat. Hold on, I'm gonna try it again. Ready? Fire the lightning bolt! Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't I don't know if the lightning bolt can fire fast enough. I'm not sure it can fire fast enough. I think it's firing, but I think it may be. No, it doesn't look like it is. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got the bugs worked out, but I thought I would let you guys take a look at this. <laughs> the do -si do that's going on over here with this plane. Oh, man, this, this thing's a wild one. All right, here we go. She's coming down. Oh, it's fast. Trying to go for the land. Nope, the landing just exploded. Oh, no, the plane's on fire. It wasn't supposed to happen this way. One of the wings flew out like a missile. Ah, all the right. <laughs> look at all the engines. The engines are just flipping out all over the place. Oh, it's harder than you think. All right, the plane is just about flying overhead. Let's give it a shot. See if we can do this. Hit the lightning. Oh, just barely missed it. Oh, it would have ripped the plane in half, though. Look at all the shards going flying into the wing. The plane's doing a full flip in the super slow motion. Okay, we're getting close. We just got to be a little bit more spot on. All right, planes hover it in. Release the lightning. Oh, right on target. The entire body gets disintegrated. The engines are on fire. That right there is what the lightning can do for you. It'll take a plane clear out of the sky. Actually, I think the plane isn't even moving forward anymore. We're in super slow motion. Yeah, the plane got bounced in the air from the shock of the lightning bolt. All right, plane's flying through the air. It got stuck in a hard bank. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to hit it. We're gonna try it though. Right through the top side. Did we get, did we get part of it? I don't think we did. That's a heck of a lightning strike though. Oh, it's slamming into the tail. All right, new plane. This is the brick arrow that we saw back in the past. It's like, almost 7,000 bricks, but it flies so much better, and it glides very well, too. We're gonna use this against the lightning strike. All right, here it is. The plane's trying to come in for a nice soft landing. Air quotes, soft. Let's go ahead and sit in our seat over here. Now, I don't know how closely it's gonna bank to the ground. It may, well, no, I think it's right on target. All right. Here, oh, it's gonna be right in the nose. And let's Fire the lightning bolt and see what happens. Oh, oh, right through the plane. The lightning strikes just before it hits the runway and it is gorgeous. Tore right through the front of the nose of the plane. Look at that. It busted through the bottom, came out the top. That right there is a lightning strike, boys. Let's go ahead and move things over here. Now, is the plane still mobile? It is. Look at how well this thing flies. I'm not even in it right now. It's just doing this naturally. But this is what I was talking about. Like, you can get this thing so that it almost glides into a landing. Wow, even, even struck by lightning, though, the plane still continues to fly. Maybe if we hit a wing or something. I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to tell you, Long, you have made a fantastic flying creation. No joke. All right. Plane's going. Let's get down here to the lightning bolt. Here we go. Get lined up nice and good. And this should do it. Okay, alternate mode. And then... Fire the lightning bolt. And let's see what happens. The lightning bolt gets fired and it is a goner. That was a perfect lightning strike right there. And the plane is cut in half. Well, actually, it looks like the wings were ripped off. Hold on, let's see if we can follow this plane over here. Yeah, all that's left is the uh, the fuselage. And look, there's a giant hole in the middle where we burnt it off. The giant pieces of wing and engine and fire and everything are flying everywhere. And the flaming carcass of the plane dashes through the sky like a meteorite 
pieces flying off of it until finally it comes to rest on the ground. Remember, this is like 6,300 bricks. So that's why we're facing a little bit of slowdown here and there. Verdeth is back. And he has crafted for us the Verdeth Heavy Industries Workshop. What does it all mean? Inside of this bastion of awesome items, what will we find? Ooh, look at the interior. You got your wooden pallets over here. We have what looks like some, uh, some machinery, like your robotic machinery that helps put stuff together. I feel like we need something inside of here. It looks awesome. You got your stairs, you got your fire extinguisher, you got your, your, uh, fluorescent lighting. Actually, the fluorescent lights look really good. Wow. Uh, but it needs something inside, something that Verdeth was designing. And thus we have this, the Verdeth Real Gatlin gun. Supposedly, this is a prototype now, supposedly instead of firing a ring of shots, this fires one shot and it spins like a real Gatling gun. Now I don't know how this works. So, oh! Wow! It legitimately spins! Oh, it's glorious! Oh, it's everything I could have ever wanted! Can it blow up any bricks? Is it is it strong enough? Yep, it sure is! <laughs> I feel I feel like this may be like overpa Well, I don't know if it could take down a plane. The this little tiny gun that it has isn't the super strong gun. We can try and take down like a helicopter. Um, I don't know how well it'll do though. Oh, before we take down a helicopter, though, Verdeth, we're going to have to test the structural integrity of your workshop. So, uh, I hope you're ready. Because here we go. All right. Nothing. Yep. Right to the top. <laughs> the lightning does not take anything from anyone. It will blow straight through the middle of anything that gets in its way. The lightning is really cool. I gotta tell you something. This That that was a very original. I like it a lot. A very cool, original, destructive creation. All right, so we have a nice classic helicopter here by, by Petrus91. So let's just get it up off the ground a little bit. Jump ourselves out. All right. Let's see how well... Now, is there a crosshair here? Not really, you just kind of look down the barrel. Now, let's see how well this thing works. Here we go. Oh, wow. It fires a lot of shots very, very quickly. I'm going to tell you that. Look at it go in slow motion. In fact, I think that we can uh, zoom in a little bit here to see some of the destruction. Oh, yeah. See if we can take the bottom pieces off. This Gatling gun, it's like a little saw. Look at us take the bottom pieces off. There we go. Can we get the engines? Hold on, let's see if we can fry the engines. I'm trying. I just don't know if we can put enough damage in over here to do it. Maybe the blades. There we go. Perfect. Everything I ever wanted. Fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't look like it has enough oomph to take down, like, the engines to make the engines explode. However, I think I know what this would be really good against. Okay, I'm going to have to ask that you protesters slowly back away. From the Grey Still Place headquarters. Heed my words, ruffians, or face the consequences. They're not heeding the words, boys. I think you know what that means. Cue the heavy metal music! Yes! No one survives the culling, the culling of sadness. As bullets rain down from the heavens, which just so happens to be this chain gun that I have purchased from Verdeth. Take my money, Verdeth. Take my money and give me the power to slay the non-believers. Well, I think that was, uh, I think that was pretty successful in the grand scheme of things. I'm about to try something that may blow up the entire city in one shot. I don't know if it's going to work for sure, but we're going to give it a shot. It's called Death From Above by Kylus Wireless. 
Wish me luck. All right, Kylas. Let's do this. It's like 5,000 bricks of sadness. Here we go. Oh, the horror. Oh, the absolute horror. It's just... <laughs> it's just a rain of bombs and missiles. Oh, no. Oh, are they all going to rain down? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're all raining down. It has begun. The nuclear apocalypse is here. And it is every bit as good as I hoped it would be. From the sky, there can be no solace. There can be no survival. All there is is darkness on this city. Oh, Amazon Prime. How you've helped me on this day. Look at the detonation. <laughs> Everywhere you go, it's like the day after tomorrow. Only instead of the weather, it's a giant nuclear apocalypse. Did we get every building? I don't think that we did. I don't think that we... Oh, there's still, there's still explosions. Okay, I think... I think we're done. There's like one more. Okay, I think we're done now. Wow. Um. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try and spawn two of these. I don't know how they're gonna interact with one another. They may just blow each other up. Oh, actually, you know what? I could put one on top of the other. Okay, Kylas. I've got two different spots over here. Of pain and agony coming down. I think a lot of the other bombs may have already blown themselves apart. Oh, look at the look at the rockets all going sideways and everything. Here we go. Here we go. We already have one building that looks like it's going down. The whole school of pain right in the middle over there. Oh yeah. You know what looks in the beginning like maybe just a little bit of devastation quickly turns into a city ending catastrophe in just a matter of seconds. I think there may be so many explosion sounds right now on the screen that we're not even getting explosion sounds right now. Look at this, look at this rocket going in sideways over here. Is it going to blow up? It's like right at the base of these two, um, these two skyscrapers. But it's not blowing up. That's so odd. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 all right. Yep. Okay, are we done? Nope. Yep. A few more. Okay. Now I think we're done. All right. Yeah, even with two of them at the same time, I think, if nothing else, they probably got in the way of one another. I think that's probably what happened. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs, where we got to strike some planes out of the sky with lightning. Strike some houses as well. And you know what? Play with a real minigun. And also use the giant nuclear apocalypse in the end. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.